All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Shalom. First and foremost, before we start this lesson, we want to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakwadash. I'm the brother Tazamak. I'm the brother Tazayar. And we come from the camp, Company of Prophets here in Tampa, Florida. We want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach the truth and rule well. Peace and citation to the whole Philet that scatter abroad. And um, hey, we just want to touch up real quick. And Tyler's lesson is going to be um, Yahweh Shai and the elect will take Esau's world. All right. And first and foremost, how that's going to happen is through our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay. Once Yahweh Shai makes his return, Esau's world, his, uh, his system, his rulership will be destroyed. All right. But Yahweh Shai and his men, hey, we want to take Esau's world. Okay. That's how he uh, he reigned and took took different places by violence, by deceit. Mm -hmm. Let me actually grab that. Um, that's Sirach 10. Do you want to translate it for one? Um, this is uh, Sirach 10 and 8. Yeah. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And that's how Esau got his world that's how he came to america all right by lying all right unrighteous dealings okay unrighteous dealings will be an example of um during the time of the uh, when christopher columbus met the gadites which would be your uh Northern. north american indians and um the rubenites the seminole in indians you know i might i may have that backwards right no you got it right oh con con just to make sure but um yeah man so when they made uh unrighteous dealing it's like oh you know they'll help you but they gave they end up giving our people you know diseases bro mm -hmm. and ultimately overtake them you see that in the movie uh apocalypto how um issachar and zebulon mm -hmm. they seen the ships coming and guess what they made a treaty with the devil and we know what the the scriptures say in Sirach 12 and uh verse 10 it says trust not thine enemy man mm -hmm. but guess what that enemy was the whooping stick for our people okay and because the lord set up esau to be the whooping stick man mm -hmm. now it says injuries and riches got by deceit the kingdom is translated from one people to another and guess what the lord is saving up this great time for esau to be destroyed to be took down okay and guess what his elect men Hey man, Lord when we be the let man, we ready to conquer shit, man. Hell yeah. We on that mode of conquering and ready to destroy this land and have fun doing it, man. Mm-hmm. Alright, you hear about El Apostle Tahar, you know, he, he brings up, you know, the X-Men. You know, we were just watching the video um from not the Zok but Ban Yum Yeah. Hey man, he got that visual. Hey man, that shit's hard because we can picture ourselves already having that power. Okay, just like the X Men, just like these superheroes that you see, Brightburn, mm. Hancock. Hey man, we're gonna have all those powers, man. We all gonna have them powers, and guess what? We are gonna have fun destroying you devils and destroying and destroying society, bro. Yeah. You know, you wanna ask them? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, you want me to, you want me to get this piece out? Go ahead. Daniel chapter seven and verse eighteen says, "But." But the saints of the Most High, Yahweh, shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Yeah, go ahead. And so the saints, which are uh, the Lord's chosen people, the Israelites, they're going to take this current kingdom, this current rulership. All right. When the Lord returns, okay, and he uh, decimates Babylon the Great, okay, the, the kingdom, meaning the whole earth, okay, the dominion of this place, man. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take we're gonna take it over. Alright, because Esau Edom, who's in control of this kingdom right now, you know, he's gonna be taken out of the way. Alright, starting with uh Babylon the Great. Alright, and then these uh neighboring countries, man, you know, all these other countries and these nations, they're gonna submit to uh Yahweh Shimei Shah and his people, man. They, okay, the Israelites. Come on, bro. And you know, and it go, says, "Go ahead." And it says, uh, "And possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever." Mm -hmm. Okay, 
and you need to understand that. Okay, and when it was said three times, forever, even forever and ever. Three times means understanding. Okay, so what we gonna be in rulership? We gonna we gonna own the land. Okay, we gonna own the the resources, the 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 the, the, the natural oil. We gonna own the cattle, the fields, all of that. We gonna possess it. To possess something means to to hold onto it, to keep it. You know, to make it yours. It belongs to you. In which this earth already belongs to our king, man. But the Lord said that how, you know, he's going to uh, give this, you know, we're going to take part of in his inheritance. All right. And we're going to enjoy, you know, all these things. You know, so you got these devils sending these, uh, you know, stealing gold and stealing all these precious stones and rubies and shit. They, they stocking and they hoarding it up. All that's for uh, the saints, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me grab this. This is Isaiah um, 41 in verse 10. You know, and this should be exhorting to all you brothers, man, that's watching. And Lord, when his lessons edifying, because look, we, me and this brother was just talking today. Like, bro, imagine us, you know, the Lord bless us with those powers, bro. We're going to be able to magnify his name. Hey, if you actually could grab... Um, Go to the book of Psalms 110. Yeah. Let's grab that. Psalms 110. Leave verse 8. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go okay. ahead and read it. Um, Wait, no, not 110? No, nah, 3. Verse 3. Verse 3. Yeah, Psalms 110. 3. Psalms chapter 110. And we're starting at verse 3. It says, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Right, man. So, actually, let's start from the, let's start from the first verse. Psalms 110 and verse 1. A psalm of David. The Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Right, and that's Yahweh talking to Yahweh Shai, you know. And guess what? Yahweh Shai is sitting at the right hand of Yahweh right now. And the Lord is patiently waiting just like we are waiting. Mm -hmm. So he could come back and recompense the enemies recompense you know the people that pierced him the people that ridiculed him all right mm -hmm. and guess what he's going to be the king of kings lord of lords because he's going to destroy all these nations in the in the valley of jehoshaphat yeah all right he's gathering them all up over there in the middle east just to destroy all of them mm -hmm. okay but guess what when the lord makes his return you see the big the big fathership that's when you know <laughs> He's going to make the enemies at his footstool. Mm -hmm. They're literally going to be under his feet. Yeah. You know, everybody's going to, every knee shall bow, every eye shall see. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Verse 2 says, The Lord Yahweh shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Will thou in the midst of thine enemies? All right, go ahead. In the midst of Zion. Let's talk about the Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse 3 says, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Right, so you're going to have Jake seeing us. You know, if the Lord use us, um, Lord willing, he uses us, you know, as the instruments of, of war and destruction. Just how the scriptures say the Lord is a man of war. Hey, don't you think he's going he ain't gonna give his men the power to exercise and magnify his name? Mm -hmm. You see with the uh during the time of Moses, the Lord said, Go Moses to Pharaoh, you're gonna be as a god. Yep. And Aaron shall be a prophet mm -hmm. amongst among you. Yeah. And guess what? The, Moses turned his staff into a serpent. The serpent ate all the other snakes. He told Pharaoh, you know, hey, this, this, and this, and this is gonna happen. Plagues start happening. You know, hey, he split the Red Sea with his staff. Mm -hmm. The Lord used used Moses to exercise the Lord power, man. Yeah. How much more for his men? You see, Elijah called fire from heaven mm -hmm. bro imagine that man you just call fire from heaven bro yeah you know that's a different um sure you gotta think about acts 2 it's gonna be like acts 2.0 bro yeah it is gonna be acts 2.0 bro you know what i'm saying acts acts 2.0 bro hey we're gonna have power to raise up um people from the dead mm -hmm. hey, heal you know yeah uh <laughs> lord said uh greater works you shall do and okay. Yeah. Let me see. The worst I do, you shall do in greater. Yeah. I'm just going to go to it real quick. So John 14 and 12 says, Verily, verily, I say unto you. So truly, truly. Mm 
-hmm. He that believeth on me, okay, and that's only for the believers, man. Okay, and that, that's what comes with believing on Yahweh Bashim Yahashad. It says, the works that I do shall he do also. Mm. And the, the, the scriptures tell us how the Lord has done so many works that it cannot be contained within the book. You know, all the books. Okay. It says, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do. And the Lord was doing a lot of things. Okay. He was healing. Okay. Raising uh, people up from the dead. You know, casting out spirits. Which, you know, brothers, we're going to be exercising you know, spirits. If we be the part of elect, you know, we're gonna do all of these things in greater, but in the name of Yahweh Bashim Rashad, you know, to magnify our power, bro. And it says, in greater works than these shall he do. So greater works. All right. And it says, because I go into my father. All right. You know, because you go into the father, the, the heavenly father. You know, which is you know Yahweh, man. And then verse 13 says, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, so in the names of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh, not in the names of Allah, Yahshua, Yahweh, okay, uh, Buddha, fucking Jesus Christ, you know, those names don't hold no power, no weight. Okay, those are all dumb idols. And it says, That will I do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. All right, and the things we do, it's going to glorify. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. If we be at a part of that let, which we know those men who go and gain those power, okay, they're going to be doing it in the name of the Lord, exalting the Lord, man. And that's why our people are going to be willing to day of, of that power, man. Because they're going to be seeing these miracles. I and mean, when this is literally happening in your face, you can't say, oh, I don't believe. You can't, you because the thing was with people, you know, majority of our people, they don't believe because they don't see it. Mm -hmm. But once they start seeing it, Nigga, you got no choice to believe it. It's in your fucking face, <laughs> right. you, you know. And that's why the scripture tells us, "Blessed is he that uh, that believed and have not seen." All right, because we believe, and so on our our belief, you know, Lord willing, we get those powers, man, and we we, we, we do what the scriptures say. Okay, because it's gonna happen. You brothers, you know, you elect brothers, y'all gonna, you know, magnify the Lord, man. When these with these um these otherworldly powers, you know, that these people have not seen before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, where you want to go back to what Psalms? Oh uh, no, nah, we're done with that. Let's go to um. Let me go back to Isaiah mm -hmm. forty-one. This is Isaiah forty-one and ten. It says, "Fear not, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee." Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And who's sitting at the right hand of, of Yahweh? Yahweh Shai. Yeah. So Lord said, I will help thee. You know, you don't have to be dismayed. You don't have to, you know, lose hope, have doubt and worry. Because Lord said, he's going to strengthen you. He's going to help you. He's going to uphold you. Yeah. Hey, so this is why we're really doing this work, bro. Yep. Okay, to first and foremost, to prove to the Lord that we love him. Mm -hmm. All right, and how you show the Lord love is you keep his commandments. That's how you show the Lord love, man. The Lord commanded us, you know, this preacher's work in season, out of season, have the sound doctrine, no error in your doctrine, hit, uh, prophesy his name. Okay, do as he commanded, go to the highways, streets, and hedges, you know, teach my people. Mm -hmm. The Lord giving us his commandments, fire. You know, um, follow the laws for the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what this this is what this is how we show Lord the love. All right, it, it's not about just confessing. Oh, I love the Lord, and then you go back doing what you're doing. Yeah, you're, you know, hey Amen. That that's not that's not right because how you show the Lord love is through action. Mm -hmm. When you how how does a person really know that they love you? Through action, yeah. When you see it, you know you could tell somebody you love them, but when you when you show them that action with your words, it, it hits different. Yeah, actions speak louder than words. Right, and and guess what? Words hold weight. Mm -hmm. You know, so you gotta. Hey, you say you love me. All right, show me that you love me. Yeah. Okay. And, and guess what? We fell off from Yahweh Shimon Shai from breaking his law, session, commandments. 
But guess what? The Lord's raising us up now. Yeah. Okay. Same. Hey, we're gonna have, hey, bro, we're gonna have sparking of lightning coming out of our hands. Be able to control elements, fly, teleport, read your mind, make you think something. Yeah. Bro, that's that's heavy, bro. You know, like telekinesis. Uh, what's some what's some other ones? Shit, X-ray vision. Fucking X-ray vision, but there's other X-ray like vision. mind control. I forgot how to. Oh, how, um, like tell it, like tell us something. Uh, but you, but we all gonna have that power though. You could be able to tell somebody to do something through your mind. Shit, yeah, man. You know. And it started with the scriptures, bro. Starting with the scriptures. They show you that in anime, mm-hmm. Dragon Ball Z. Hey, they're talking through each other's brain, but they don't know the enemy. The enemy don't know that you're talking to them. Yeah. You know. Shit, sick that, bro. All right, and jumping down. Um, let's jump down to verse thirteen. It says, "For I, Yahweh, thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not; I will help thee." So we're not supposed to be fearing what man can do unto us. Yeah. Okay. Wants him that put his trust in man and not the Lord. Yeah. Put a trust in princes, you know, princes and chariots. Yeah. Hey, bro, we're supposed to be trusting you. How about Shimei Shai? When he come in with that fucking destruction, bro. Hey, listen, man. Even before the nuclear missiles, mm-hmm. Jacob's trouble, bro. When you're when you're protected, you're getting fed. You seeing angels. You seeing the miracles. Love you, how about Shimei Shai? You, bro, me and this brother was talking about it like, man, we all going to hear that that uh, that saying come up hither mm-hmm. in the Hebrew, bro. But yeah, bro. even before that, oh, you want to say something? Oh, yeah. I was going to say, you know, Lord willing, you know, if we, if we be a part of the elect, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to hear that. And that's that hit different, you know, the, them the words you want to hear, bro. The right. three words come up hither. And hide that, hide that little moment in that chamber. Yeah, man. You know, that's, that's crazy, bro. Or even, even when you're during Jacob's trouble and you in a FEMA camp, you hear the Lord tell you, "I'm with thee." Damn, bro. Fear I'm not, with thee. I'm with thee. Do this, do that. Mm-hmm. I'm with thee. The, yeah. Hey, the scriptures say how the Lord's gonna be our guide. Mm-hmm. Come on now, come on now. The Lord's gonna be our guide. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Let me go up. Let me get the etymology of guide. Cause. God. Let me get that real quick. Guiding the entomology, man. I feel like that's something heavy. I got to put that one in there. Huh? Oh, you, you already in Isaiah 41, ain't you? Yeah, I'm in okay. Isaiah 41. Guide and entomology. It says to lead, direct, conduct. Mm. All right, so guess what? The Lord's going to lead us. Woo! Mm. And guess what it says in the Frankish? It says show the way. Damn. It's not the Lord going to show us the way. He's already showing us the way through the through the narrow gate, man. That's crazy, bro. Through the path of in, of immortality, boy. Yeah. Come on, man. He's showing us the way now. Look, we catching hell. We going through the fucking the mud. The, way, the fire, man. The fiery trials. You think this shit easy? Hell no. Nah. But guess easy, what? Jake oh, go ahead. It. You gonna say something? Oh, y'all said if it was easy, you'll see Jake out here doing it. Mm-hmm. You know, it ain't easy. Even Yahweh Shai told it to um the woman who inquired that her son's you know, follow after the stuff, the footsteps. The Lord heard it with, you know, yeah, you know, they can, if they can bear the, you know, their own cross. But you know, it's not even, you know, it's more so up to the Father. Oh, you talking about with John's and James? You know. Yeah. So we're gonna sit at my right hand. We're gonna sit at my left. Nah, nah. I'm, I'm gonna just try to find it. Wait, find it real quick. Yeah. But um, reading on, boy, this is heavy, boy. It says, "Show us the." Or it says, "So show the way." So the Lord is showing us the way now. When we in that trouble, bro. And you guys got to, and starting with us, amen, us and we, we have to meditate on more fear of the Lord, bro. Because through the fear of the Lord, that's going to give us the increase of wisdom, Mm -hmm. knowledge, understanding for the Lord to be able to really, um, you know, use us as the vessels that we are. Yeah. You know, and man, it's going to be a great time, man. It's going to be a great time, man, when we see the Lord magnify his power you know and magnify his name through his power that's what i meant to say but um in the Germ- in germanic woo, this is heavy it says to look after guard ascribe to reproach come on man so the lord said to look after guard and, and ascribe so look 
Isaiah 41 and uh, 14. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, mm -hmm. saith Yahweh, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. The Lord said he's going to look after us. Mm -hmm. The Lord said he's going to be our guide. You think you grab that real quick? Second Ezra 16 and um, 76, I believe. The Lord said, the Lord said he's going to be our guide. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, read it. Second Ezra 16 and verse 50, 75. Oh, 75, go ahead. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh, mm. Bashem Yahweh Shai, is your guide. Hey, so Lord, keep reiterating, neither doubt or be afraid. Mm -hmm. Lord said, fear not. Fear not. Be not afraid. Mm -hmm. The Lord's going to give us power. Mm -hmm. Us, men of the elect, Lord willing, we be on that, that number. Mm -hmm. He's going to give us that power to magnify his name. You, you know why he do that so much in the scripture? And it, is, it just keep reiterating and keep saying that is because the Lord is giving us reassurance of these things. Just like how, you know, you deal with a woman, you know, she got to constantly get reassurance. She's got to get reassurance. Sure. Hey, 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 but the uh, Lord said, hey, we are a calmly and delicate, delicate woman. woman. Yeah, exactly. that's, that's why, you feel me? And hey, he's the husband. Yeah, exactly. Hey, to right? reassure his wife. Right. That, Look at that. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Look, you feel go me? ahead, go ahead, go I, work. Because I, I found out myself, you feel me? And that's why we got these scriptures, bro. You know, reading these scriptures, bro, and the Lord. To so reassure yeah, us. Reassure us, you know, keep that faith, keep it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord, y'all by Shema Shah, he got his men, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? You you know, you brothers, you, you got the faith. You got the hope. You got to just keep, keep going, bro. The you Lord, got the name. You, you got, got the, the doctrine. Name, the doc, bro, I'm just keep Come on. going, bro. The Lord, God, bro, why you think the Lord keep keep saying it? All right, go ahead. Read again. You know? Read again. You can make, you can, um, make your point, too. Second Ezra 16 and verse 75. Mm -hmm. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh Bashim Rashad is your guide. Okay, we ain't got nothing to be afraid of, bro. We know hell's coming, but who's the one who's bringing the hell? We know there's salvation coming. Who's the one who's bringing the salvation? Okay. Verse 76, in the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts. All right. Saith the Lord, Yahweh power, let not your sins weigh you down. Yeah. And let not your iniquities lift up themselves, bro. It's that simple, bro. All right. The Lord told us, don't let the things we go through. You know, in this flesh, don't let that shit weigh you down. Don't let it be a noose unto you, man. You know, to drag you down. You know, uh, uh, that extra weight. Because we already know the, the things we face. Yahweh Shai knows we've been. In, he's been in the body, bro. Okay, uh, even uh, Apostle Paul says, uh, "Oh, wretched man that I yeah. am." <laughs> you know, the things I would uh, do, I, I do them not. You feel me? Yahweh Shai knows. That's why he says, "I pray for thee. I pray for the elect." Right. You know, the, man, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying, like, bro. This huh. is just crazy, bro. Hey, because hey, it's crazy, bro. Because hey, look, uh, read that part again. Sins, okay. Verse seventy six. Yep. Second Ezra sixteen and seventy six. In the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord Yahweh, power, let not your sins weigh you down. Right. Because why? Why shouldn't we let our sins weigh, our, weigh us down? Because we believe in Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. who died for our sins. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you really believe, you're doing this work, bro. Mm -hmm. You you doing everything you can to show the Lord, hey Lord, I'm still enduring. I'm some days I may fail, some days I'm gonna keep going. Mm -hmm. I'm still trusting you. I'm still have faith in you. Mm -hmm. You know I have wicked thoughts, but I cast them aside because I know you got me. Yeah. That's why we got the. That's why all these brothers got video of pistols. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's talking about different situations and things in your life mm -hmm. that's gonna help you, man. Yeah. You may you may not even come across a brother's video. You may be a video of a person outside, you know, and he's he's speaking he's speaking facts, bro. Yeah. Because uh the Lord's incorruptible spirits in all things. Mm -hmm. So you can learn you can learn from anybody. Mm -hmm. You can learn from an Edomite, you can learn from a heathen. They might the Lord may speak through them yeah. to tell you what you need to hear. Because mm -hmm. that's how the Lord speaks. All right, he ain't gonna just come down from the fourth dimension and, and look at you in the face. You gonna fucking die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm <I'm> gonna die. <laughs> hey, that's why he speak through his men. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, bro. Um, and it says, uh, and let not ahead. your iniquities lift up themselves, man. And that's right. sins upon sins, bro. And like your brother talks about was going into, bro. When you understand Yahweh Shai, his role, and what what he did that was so important, you know, you understand that um, 
you know, the Lord is there, bro. He, he He's literally there, you know, for us, bro. And he know, he know we ain't going to get right. That's why you, when you read uh, John, the 17th chapter, that's the prayer of Yahweh Shai to the elect, mm. to Yahweh. Mm. All right. Hey, take um, Bible shot. Yeah. Let's grab it real quick because um, there's a is a verse in there. He said, uh, "I pray for them." Yeah. You know. Yeah, yep. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's let's get that real quick. Hey man, we kind of. <laughs> hey man, spirit hot. You know, hey, we talking about the Lord is gonna uh, use his elect man to take out Esau, his Esau's world. Hey, look, the Lord's doing it, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, just by us prophesying, that's doing it. All right, remember that shit crazy, bro. the first. Hey, we have power. You may not see the lightning and avatar elements and all this stuff and lasers coming out your eyes and teleportation. You may not see that right now. Yeah, but, but we fun. have power already because we're we're uh, wielding the sword. We're going through the Bible like like butter. Yeah, Damn, jumping here to here to here to here to here, piecing it all together, going to the etymology, going to. The depth of the words. When you go to etymology, mean the study of the truth yeah. in words, man. Mm -hmm. All right. And when you go into the uh, word math, which is a, when they say men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. Mm -hmm. Math going to truth, a math. Yeah. You know, one plus one is always going to be two. Ooh. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and the Lord is giving us the, the, the truth, man. Mm -hmm. The truth is setting us free. Hey, that Esau is going to come down. You're going to, you're going to bind their kings with chains and nobles with fetters of iron. Yep. Hey, you're going to, you're going to kill their ass with a sword just like they killed you with a sword. Mm -hmm. You're going to recompense them double. Hey, the Lord promised us all these things. But That's why it says, here's the hope and the faith of the saints. Right. Here's the hope and the faith of the saints. And this is why, you know, hey, we got to wield our spiritual power here now yeah that's right focus on the strengths you have now whatever the lord gifted you the strength is you exercise that because mm -hmm. in x-men hey guess what you ain't see magneto doing what professor x is doing <laughs> yeah yeah magneto's nice. power was controlling the elements mm -hmm. but professor x was controlling the minds of people mm -hmm. but they didn't have the same power but they focus on the strengths of their power you know and that's what the lord is doing with us he he given he's focusing us he's focusing us on the strengths he gave us. Yeah. You know? He gives you those strengths, focus on that. Mm -hmm. Cause that's what makes you powerful. Yeah. That's what makes you powerful. All right. Um you got that, John seventeen? Yeah, you wanna go straight to the point? Yeah, you can read it. John seventeen and verse nine says, I pray for them. Mm. I pray not for the world. Right. So the Lord said, I pray for them, the elect. I pray not for the whole world of Israel. Okay, this is what he's talking about. Not for the whole world of Israel. Damn. First and foremost, the Lord didn't die for every fucking body. Mm -hmm. All right, Christians, newsflash, ding, ding, ding. The Lord did not die for everybody. Go read Revelation 1 and 7. Tell me what that say. Okay. <laughs> hey, the Lord did not die for the whole world. Why he's going to die for heathens? Tell me if they're not under the law. Yeah. You're fucking dumb. Dumbass people, bro. Y'all yeah, don't fucking read, bro. That's what scripture say. Blessed is he that read of. Yep. God damn. <laughs> Y'all just want to beat the drums all goddamn day. Yep. You know, them demons having a damn party. Fucking the okay. Shit. The Lord say, I pray for them, not for the whole world, the whole world of Israel. Yeah. We're a world in the self. Mm -hmm. The Lord came for his elect. All right, go ahead. I'm actually start at... Uh, start wherever you're free, man. Okay, John 17 and 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me. Right, and the Lord, Yahweh gave, Yahweh shall delight from the foundation of the earth. Mm -hmm. The reason why we see everything being created is, hey, because the elect made the world with Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Okay, Yahweh gifted Yahweh Shai the elect. All right, and guess what? Magnify, um, manifested thy name, right? It said manifested. Uh, manifested thy name. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right, manifested thy name. So guess what? The Yahweh Shai, when he was on the earth, he prophesied Yahweh's name. That shit crazy. Yeah. Hey, my That's my crazy. father's name is Yahweh. My name is Yahweh Shai. Believeth on me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And guess what? The Lord. Oh man, the Lord is so cold, bro. Yeah. The Lord is so damn cold, bro. Hey, cause hey. The Lord say what? He's stirring up remembrance of our minds. Yeah, bro. And when we when we heard the name of the Lord, we're like, damn, that's 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 the truth. Mm -hmm. You know how the scripture tells you, um, uh, 
Let me ask you, grab it. When the scripture say in Isaiah, um, was it I bring you back in remembrance? No, nah, in Isaiah, when it says, um, Isaiah 30 and 21, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand or when you turn to the left. So, look, when, when we first heard this word and we hear about Esau and how the Lord's going to destroy this place and his, hearing his name, this is the Lord's true name. Mm -hmm. You're like, whoa, this, something in our mind, the Lord's saying in our mind, this is, the, this is the way, this is the path. You want to understand the Bible? This, you want to understand me and my word? This is the way. This is the way. This is the path. And Jake don't fucking understand that shit. You tell them the you tell them the truth. And you're like what? <laughs> For real. They they gotta have their spirit has to spark and click. You know. Mm -hmm. Go ahead though. And thou gavest them me, and mm -hmm. they have kept thy word. Right. Now they have known <laughs> that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee. And they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Damn, that's crazy, bro. But for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Damn, bro. I guess what? Because I'm glorified in them. Damn, so crazy, guess what? Bro. The elect is going to glorify Yahweh Shai. Yes, bro. That's crazy. Bro. And guess what? When we glorify Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, man, glorifying the Father. Yep. It's all order. It's like, Cause when Yahweh was on the scene, he was glorifying who? Yahweh. Mm -hmm. You know. It's and like, guess what? His his men, the disciples, they glorifying Yahweh like, Shai. It's like a power plant. We get literally the, we get the power from from Yahweh Shai, Yahweh which is the Shai, source. Yeah, which and is the source. Yahweh Shai gets the power from the the heavenly Father. Is just the main source. Yahweh is the main source, bro. Yeah, man. And when crazy. we believe on the sun, hey, what? Look, bro, we ain't gonna lose. Mm -hmm. You know how future say, never gonna lose. You never gonna lose. lose. Yep. Hey, we never gonna lose. Mm -hmm. Um, come on, bro. Verse Boy. eleven. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. Mm. And I come to thee, Holy Father. Keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as they. <laughs> Yo. That's a lot, girl, bro. Damn, this is crazy. It says, it's, I come to thee, Holy Father, mm -hmm. keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. Yeah, because guys, how how are how are Yahweh Shai and Yahweh one? Because they're in agreement. Of course. And guess what? We're in agreement with the Lord and his word, his will. Mm -hmm. We're in agreement with him. Mm -hmm. He wants to do this. Hey, we're in agreement with it. Mm -hmm. The Lord is perfect. Verse 12. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Mm. Those that givest, those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost. But the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Mm. Okay, and now, now. What was the uh, one scripture? Um, I pray for them, um, not to take out, not to be taken out of the world. Oh, uh, let me it's see. in that chapter, bro. It's here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Go ahead, read it. Verse 14 says, I have given them thy word, and the world have hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. That's why you see people just be fucking hating for no reason, bro. You know, people, they be hating on you, scoffing, you know, probably haven't even seen you, you know, prophesy or do anything, but they have some type of ill, you know, uh, feeling towards you. You don't even know them. Probably be strangers looking at you upside down, looking at you all type of crazies, man. You know, try to figure you out. You know, you see it all the time when you be out in public. Or you have even have, you know, those that try to cleave. Or, you know, try to get close to you, try to be friends because they see that light. But majority of them, you know, they all haters, bro. Verse 15 says, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Right, so. That's crazy, bro. Look, Lord going to protect us from the evil, bro. He going to give us the power. We're going to see his power. When the evil times are coming, Jacob's trouble, bro. I guess what? When New Jerusalem come down, we're gonna be fucking perfect. Bro, we're gonna be, bro. We're gonna be so. Hey, grab um First so Thessalonians, um four and eighteen. 
1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 18. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Okay, and guess what? We're comforting you brothers with these words, man. Mm -hmm. This should excite you, bro. Like we're gonna get we're gonna get power to exercise the Lord's name, to magnify his name. Bro. So when we go into etymology, the word comfort, it says to cheer up, counsel, soothe when in grief or trouble. Damn, bro. So when we get them worried thoughts and shit like that, we're getting comforted through this word. Yeah, man. When we watch these uh videos, when we watch different visuals, mm -hmm. we hey, we got a whole bunch of different scriptures popping in our head, bro. Mm -hmm. To soothe us in grief or in trouble. Yeah. All right. And that's how you supposed to use this script. That's this is how you supposed to use wield your power. the sword, bro. Mm -hmm. How does you supposed to, you know, uh. Will like the rest of would you know would your power man because um bro this is a spiritual fight bro it's a spiritual battle bro you gotta take it you know uh with uh you know use every equipment you got bro right you know it's this comfort is this sword man this is how you fight how you think we casting down ease fucking society man how do you think you know prophecy is coming to pass man through these scriptures that we bringing out right so let me go to Isaiah forty one and fourteen it says fear not thou worm Jacob and ye men of Israel I will help thee, saith Yahweh, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Mm. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. The Lord said, I will make you, you, mm -hmm. us, you brothers, yeah. a new sharp threshing instrument yeah. having teeth. Teeth represent power. Mm -hmm. When you see a lion, how did he devour his, his prey? How did he kill his prey? Through his teeth. All right, so teeth representing power. Bro, he says he's going to make us a new sharp threshing instrument. New. New. Brand new. Not not old. Not these fucking immortal. I mean, these mortal ass bodies, man. You homo sapiens and you guns. You guns, bro. Fuck that, <laughs> man. We finna. Yeah, for real. It says, Thou shalt thresh the mountains, the governments, mm -hmm. and beat them small, and shall make the hills as chaff, the smaller governments. So we're going to. Bro, we could go to fucking Europe. Grab the uh, Eiffel Tower and throw that shit Toss in the that, fucking gar in government, bro. For real. <laughs> Literally. Saw that bit down with your... With your eyes. Fucking, what do you call it? Laser eyes? Yeah. And then fucking chuck that bitch out the goddamn cathedral. Where the fuck? <laughs> For real. Throw that shit in the fucking Da Vinci, bitch. For real. <laughs> <laughs> Verse 16. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. Thou shalt rejoice in Yahweh and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. So when we see that power, bro, we want to be exalting Yahweh Shemi Al Shai. Uh, let me grab this. Uh, running through a troop with my wolf. <laughs> so look, this is Psalms 18 and 29. It says, For by thee I have run through a troop. Mm -hmm. This is King David, bro. King David on a high level, bro. The Lord was using, was giving King David power, mm -hmm. spiritual power. Yeah. And you know, the brothers be always saying if uh, King David was on the earth, you know, right now, he would tear the UFC fighters in two, in two, bro. Hell yeah. Bro, he said he would bend the bows of steels with his arms. Bro, you, you go try to grab a, uh, a stop sign and just try to <laughs> bend that <laughs> bit. Yeah. You ain't bending that shit. <laughs> Like for real he says for by thee i have ran through a troop and by my power have i leaped over a wall and um bro imagine great wall of china let me grab this um no nah, let me get this and um What's that one scripture um, when King David was fighting Goliath? It said, I will call upon my power. Oh, let me see. Um, damn, how does it go? Let me see. David, Goliath. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this fire. 
It's a. Uh, I got Ecclesiasticus forty seven. Read it. Read it. Go ahead. All right. Uh, I'm gonna just get a uh, verse three. I'm gonna write down the five. It says, uh, Sirach chapter forty seven and three says. He played with lions as with kids, and with bears as with lambs. Slee, slew he not a giant when he was yet but young? And did he not take away reproach from the people when he lifted up his hand with the stone and the sling and beat down the boasting of Goliath? For he called upon the Most High, Yahawa, and he gave him strength in his right hand to slay that mighty warrior and set up the horn of his people. That's fire, man. So, <laughs> bro, you know, he called upon the Lord and the Lord granted him power, bro, to, to, to slay this massive fucking heathen, you know, that everybody was scared of. For real. But a child, you no, know, more so, you know, a young man at that, okay, slayed this beast, man, and, and, and like it was nothing, like bread through uh, butter, you know, bread through, through a hot knife. Well, butter through a hot knife, you know, slayed his ass with ease, bro. And it was the Lord that that uh, gave him that power to do that, bro. You know? What was in on that? Yeah. This is uh, 1 Samuel 17 and 45. Then said David to the Philistine. All right, so he's talking to Goliath. Thou comest to me with a sword. And this is how Esau think. Mm -hmm. Esau come, come with us with his guns, you homo sapiens, and your guns. Mm -hmm. So the Philistine came with a sword, right? And this is how we're going to be. We're going to be like King David, right? Because the scriptures say, The feeble among you shall be as David. David yep. It says, And with a spear and with a shield. So Esau have all this fucking armory, you know, shield, guns, helmet, whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. All right? And that's why also scriptures say, The carnal minded is death, yeah, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace. Mm -hmm. All right? But it says, but King David said, but I come to thee in the name of Yahweh of hosts, the power of the armies of Israel, whom thou has defied. All these heathens be talking shit mm -hmm. about Yahweh Shemuel Shai. Even our own people yeah. talking, talking shit about the Lord, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Lord, your Lord going to protect you. Oh, your Lord going to protect you. Yeah. Oh, your Lord ain't gonna do that. Da, 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 da. You talking mad shit. And that's why we can't wait. We can't wait till the fucking day comes where the Lord could use us, Lord willing, to exercise his power, mm -hmm. to magnify his name. And I'm gonna tell you, yeah, this is the God you was scoffing at and just blow your fucking ass away. That shit crazy, man. You guys just turn into fucking dust. Dust. And, we, and guess what? We gonna have the last laugh. Mm -hmm. Fucking devil. Mm -hmm. God damn, y'all. <laughs> Jay be pissing me off with that shit, man. Yeah, Jay got me tripping, bro. That's why the scripture say you are your father the devil, bro. Yeah, bro. Hey, man, you join a hand with this damn non-believing ass nigga, man. Fucking e scoffing mark and do all that shit. For real. Man, you know, so. Yeah, man, they get it from somebody. Verse 46, it says, This day will you how deliver thee into mine hand, mm. and I will smite thee and take thine head from thee. And I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistine this day unto the fowls of the air, oh. like the vultures and shit, Yo. and to the wild beasts of the earth, you know, like the Komodo dragons mm. and shit like that. It says that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. That shit is crazy. Bro. Hey, bro, just like we were saying before, hey, when Jake see us have this power, mm. bro, they gonna know there's a God doing this <laughs> crazy, we gonna man. laugh we gonna be like ha ha <laughs> this is the power of Yahweh <laughs> Baha yeah, Shai. Yeah, yeah. the power of Israel, Israel bro. boy we gonna have that man boy we gonna have that laugh bro like like, like yes yeah, bro it was a game nigga hey I mean yeah, you know how like Vegeta, he got that that yeah. laugh. Hell yeah, private laugh. Yeah, yes, it's bro. Be a confident laugh. Like a confident laugh. Like, yeah, <laughs> especially when you find those little androids. Yeah. He's like, ha ha! You think you could do something to me? Yeah. Because he could feel their power. Like yeah, these, these niggas are weak. shrimps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just destroyed them like nothing. Like, That's yeah, how we gonna bro. be. We are gonna be so fucking confident in you. How about you not shy, bro? Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing gonna stop us, bro. Literally, if God be for us, who, who can be, be against, against us? us? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Who gonna be against us? Mm -hmm. 
Nobody. <laughs> literally, bro. Literally, we we serving the we serving the creator of all things. Who can be against us, bro? What the fuck? You must be out of your damn mind. <laughs> Real talk, but we can't wait till the Lord do this. <laughs> like, nigga, is you dumb? <laughs> yeah. Are you dumb, nigga? Dumb? <laughs> For real, bro. Nigga, you know who this is? I serve? Yeah, bro. Um, You got something? Uh, Damn, nah, I ain't got nothing over here, bro. Um, uh, what's, the, what's that one scripture in Joshua? Um, uh, I think I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, Ah, uh, let me see. Is it when uh nah I know what you're talking about, bro. But I just can't. I just. Can't. It's alright, man. It's alright, man. Damn. I wish I could see. think of some. Um. What's another scripture, man? It's a lot. Stubble, man. Fucking bro. Stubble. Yeah. You, you can be Jacob. Let me see. Shall be like. Shall be at stubble. Yup. So my stuff, bro. Wings. Oh, having wings. Mm -hmm. What's that? Uh, Isaiah, right? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, what's that scripture? It's like having wings. I know it's in Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Isaiah 40. Right here. Yeah, yeah. 40, Isaiah 40. All right, let's start at verse 29. <clears throat> Isaiah 40 and 29. He gave a power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Yo, get 28, bro. 28? Yeah, he didn't go, go down. All right. Isaiah 40 and 28. Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not? Nigga? <laughs> Fuck. Fuck wrong with you, man. <laughs> Neither is weary. <laughs> you think the Lord get tired, nigga? You, know sleep, man. <laughs> you think the Lord go to sleep? Oh, get tired, man. Lord you, don't get tired. You fucking bro. weak ass immortals. Minded, for real, bro. Jake. NPC. Jake Simple, bro. Like that shit crazy, bro. You think the Lord fainted? You think he get tired? You think he get headaches? Headaches. Fatigue. <laughs> Fatigue. <laughs> no. <laughs> It says there is no searching of his understanding. Mm -hmm. That's why he say my ways are not your, your ways. ways. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as the heavens is, right up. that shit. Come crazy. on, man. Oh. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Mm -hmm. All right, verse twenty nine. He give a power to the faint, mm -hmm. and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Mm -hmm. And when you go into that scripture, uh, if you grab it, uh, um, in Matthew, um. Exalted a base. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll probably close it out with this one. Okay. I feel like we hit the point. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Let me see. Uh, a base shall be exalted. Exalted. Yeah. You found it? Yeah. Go ahead. Matthew 23 and verse 12. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. A humble himself shall be exalted. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Them that have no might, he increase of strength. Mm -hmm. We don't have no might, bro. Yeah. But guess what? The humble shall be exalted, bro. Mm -hmm. Scripture says how the meek shall inherit, inherit the, the earth. earth. The meek inherit the whole earth. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like just like Pit my ride, man. That's what the Lord gonna do with you, brothers, man. <laughs> you know, that's but that's what the bro. This is you, brothers, that come in all shapes and sizes. You know, you might have some, you know, problems because we're not perfect. But the Lord loves that, bro, because in that day He's gonna use you to to exalt His power, bro, and magnify His name and for His name's sake. <laughs> you know He gonna go out, bro. And guess what? We're reading the scriptures. Mm -hmm. The Lord's gonna do this. Mm -hmm. You're going to see this in real life. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Don't be surprised. You see, a, if you see a, a five, uh, a five four brother, you know, probably like weigh shit like one hundred pounds or some shit. The feeble shall be as David. Man, you know, taking off heads, man. <laughs> Never know, bro. Just running through a fucking troop. Running through a troop. A, a million man army, just like nothing. Fly right through his ass, like For real. Omni Man. Just fucking. A, a, yes. Yeah. Hand through all their bodies, Hancock, bro. Hancock, nigga, man. For real. Yeah, bro. Verse thirty says, "Even the youth shall faint and be weary, mm -hmm. and the young men shall utterly fall." Yeah. But it says, "But they that wait upon Yahweh shall renew their strength." Mm -hmm. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Mm -hmm. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. And guess what, bro? You think about a person that run and not be weary is like Flash. Yeah. Bro, he runs so fucking fast. He's fucking, he slows down time. Mm -hmm. You seen that with X-Men. Yeah. You know, when the house was fucking in. Um, um, uh, Quicksilver? Uh, yeah, with Quicksilver. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, when the fucking the house is getting fucking destroyed, yeah, blown up, he blown up, he just, bro. He running so fast, he, he was, time he, is he slow. Was Twinkies and shit, and just <laughs> chilling. You he know? can move bullets and shit, yeah. you know, yeah. with wings as eagles, bro. So I mean, you gonna fly, you gonna levitate like Omni Man and Bright Burn and Superman and etc. Man, look, bro. He said, "They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength." The Lord's gonna give us that power, brothers. Charge up. I guess what well, we're gonna take Esau's world. All right, we're gonna take his fucking world. All right, we ain't gonna ask for it. We're not gonna fucking go to your fucking kings. We're just gonna take the gonna shit take that's that ours. Shit, it's ours. It belongs to us. It man. belongs to us. So we, hey, guess what? We're gonna take back what's rightfully ours. You fucking devil. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna push you in fucking chains? Are you gonna go in fucking slavery? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna fucking clean up the mess that you made? Yep. Are you gonna be in a captivity for a thousand fucking years yeah, with these damn heathens? Mm -hmm. All right. Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you fucking base man. Fucking bitch. Look, you ruined the whole fucking earth, yeah. nigga. And guess what? We're gonna we're gonna make sure you understand how we felt all these fucking years. Damn, bro. Day and fucking night, bro. <gasps> Except for the Sabbath. Clockwork. Bro. All right, it's gonna be clockwork for you, damn niggas, man. Fucking what they call it? Uh, first, first hired and fucking never, never fired. fired. Get your ass working. Hey, we're gonna be uh, trading your ass. Hey, hey, brother, you want this good ass slave? Like, yeah, let me get him for scrub my <laughs> uh, my toilet. Like Pokemon cards, for <laughs> real. <laughs> Yu Gi Oh cards. Yeah, That's how we're gonna be trading you, ass. for real, bro. You devils gonna have, oh man, I can't wait for you fucking devils to go in captivity. Mm -hmm. I hate y'all prideful ass crackers, man. It's, it's new bats just came in, you know, a new litter. For real. New new litter, man. These are uh, new babies. The bulk, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but I'll give them to you, brother. For real, man. Hey, man, this is what we're looking forward to, man. But um, you got anything else you wanna say? Closing statements? Nah, man. I just wanna say that power coming, bro. Right. You know, every day you just meditate on it, that, that power coming, bro. Know, set up those prayers for it too you know mm -hmm. that one brother uh told us shalak raka allah oh yeah, yeah you know yeah man just just be praying for it bro it's gonna come low woman you know unless it was edifying though Closing, we want to give all praises, honor, glory, infinite blessing unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Kakwadash. So next time we say shalom, shalom, and bye bye.